Okay, Evan Lee, the time has come. I am giving you your Patreon video right now. You wanted me to play a video game, and specifically Bioshock. And I'm down to try anything and everything, but at the same time, it felt silly to just jump into Bioshock and give it a shot knowing absolutely nothing. And I've never played it before. I know nothing about the game, but I know someone who does, and his name is D. Griff. David Griffin. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm, I'm so happy I'm so to happy. be doing I mean, this. I get up this morning, I get a text saying like, David, do you play Bioshock? I'm like, do I? <laughs> yes, I have all of us. Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, Bioshock Infinite, and I'm so excited to share this wonderful universe with Perry because she's never experienced it before. This is one of like, I can show this like a classic game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And I hear it's it's the type of game that I might like, and it's the type of world I'm really gonna like. You know what else I really like? All this. I'm not entirely sure what's in there that makes the system special, but that's really freaking pretty, and this seems like real legit. Yeah, you know, I, I got my little I, PlayStation, this my but this I've, is different. I built it about a year and a half ago. I've added some things to it. So for those of you who are PC enthusiasts, this isn't like the greatest rig of all time, but um, it's my baby. It's what I put together, and I'm, I'm proud of it. This is how I play my games. I also have an Xbox and a PlayStation, but I play a lot of my games on the PC. This feels legit. This feels more legit than my PlayStation controller, actually. Well, that, that controller you're using, Perry, that is the Xbox Elite controller. No wonder. So I'm glad there was a it. reason. So you might see in the comments, because I'm sure there's going to be some hardcore gamers watching this. They'll be like, hey, we should show her how to use the mouse and keyboard. Because typically when you're playing first-person shooters on computer, you're supposed to use a mouse and keyboard. Okay. But I came from consoles originally, so I actually prefer a controller. It just feels better in my hand. So, okay. Yeah. So you're this is the, the fancy one, so I'll take it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> What's that number in the corner? That is the frames per second. It's a way to brag, you know, if you're playing PC games, gotcha. like how fast your game is going. And, I see, yeah. I see. Well, I know when I'm expected to yeah, do something. Yeah, yeah. So you look, or we should be able to look around now. So maybe. Turn, oh yeah, I'm moving. Look the other way. Oh, okay, so this one you like. Yeah. Go. Oh, I'll go for Woo! Stay away from the fire. This game's, you know, like over ten up. years old, so and it still looks really. It does good. look really good, it's a yeah. Good looking game. I think it's at least ten years. Eight, eight to ten years old. I'm assuming the stairs. Mm -hmm. Those stairs. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's always what gets me with controllers. This is the problem I have with Battlefront 2, is I have a really difficult time with yeah. looking up and down mm -hmm. while moving. Right. Because like all the old school games that I used to play didn't have that kind of, you couldn't maneuver characters quite like that. Mm. No gods or kings, only man. The only thing I know about Bioshock are things that I've learned by researching like the Wikipedia page because mm -hmm. they've tried a bajillion times to turn this into a TV show or a movie. Yeah, it's it's tough. There's one of the big daddies. You've probably seen like cosplay of Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a big daddy. That is called a big daddy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Some whales. <laughs> Thinking a little bit I don't about, know. I about just don't, uh, yeah, just... Star Wars. Star Wars. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cool introduction. It is. Oh yeah, okay. you the controls there. Okay, so weapons. Yeah, fine. Just like, just like the switch plasmid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you're going fast. I'm never gonna remember all this. No, but I'm gonna yeah, try really yeah, hard. Yeah, that, then they'll give you like a little tutorial. Okay. They'll show, you what, they'll show you what to do. This is my problem with <laughs> games and trying new things. Is mm -hmm. I like to be really good at stuff when yeah. I first try, so I get frustrated mm -hmm. at the beginning when I suck mm -hmm. and can't remember anything. Get to higher ground. Should I? So, so look around. We're gonna look around here. Okay. You need need a plasmid to get to the next area. When did you first start playing this game? I played when it first came out. I think I was on. She's gonna go to where those little girls are the creepy little girls. Here. Yeah. Um, when it first came out, I saw a review of it, and they were just saying how good it was. So I like just immediately just tried it and picked it up, and I fell in love with it instantly. It's just weird, like all this stuff. It's weird. Ooh. Is your controller vibrating? It is. Yeah. <laughs> So you're getting some special special powers now, some superhero powers. Cool. Mm -hmm. What kind of games did you play as a kid? I played I like the classic. I played Mario Do and you, Sonic the Hedgehog. Did you have games that were on little floppy disks? That oh, you I remember played? those yeah. for sure. Yeah, we used to have games on the old Apple. What was the math game? It's like not 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 number cruncher like number muncher or something. About. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I had those. That's one of the few that I remember. And I was really into like Sims and roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Sims roller coaster tycoon. Mm -hmm. That's the one I loved. Yep. And you would build a roller coaster park. You would build the rides, and then one of your jobs was to sweep mm -hmm. up the vomit. Yeah. So this is going to be oh. your left trigger. I don't just use it randomly. You want to aim it at that door. Okay. Uh, the door handle, where it's uh, right there. Going. Yeah. So, there you go. Ah. Got it. Should yeah. I not use up the power in that? Save it, yeah. Ooh, it's, it's pretty, does it's pretty that mean valuable. someone's behind me? Hit him, hit him. Ha! There you go. <laughs> What's your favorite game right now? 
Right now, I'm playing a game called Hellblade, Send You a Sacrifice, and it's really cool. Hellblade? Hellblade, yeah. There's always some type of hell or blade or some type of, you know, something bad's always going on. But it's cool. The gaming industry knows what's hot. It's they know, horror they know, scenarios. They know the titles to pick. How do you have time to play all these games? That's like the one thing about gaming that I don't understand. Mm -hmm. It's like I have to see so many movies and gaming is just mm -hmm. so time consuming where you really need to block out a whole lot of consecutive hours. It's tough for me too because of how much TV I watch, you know, for TV yeah. talk and everything. But you know, you just, if, if it's worth it, you'll make time. You know, it's like kind of reading a book for a half hour before you go to bed. It's like I'll play, so play a game for like, you know, 30 minutes before I go to bed or something. Follow like the compass arrow. There you go. Well, the next part's pretty cool actually. So you, see, you can see her reflection, or her yeah. shadow, I'm sorry. But like she looks like she's talking to like a baby or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that visual. It's pretty cool. Kill her? Yeah. Get her. Nice. Ah, sucker. But like she's looking at a gun. That's the thing, she's like treating it like a baby. It was just a gun the whole time. Should I like save my bullets? You, want, you definitely want to conserve ammo. If you can beat a guy with a wrench, then use the wrench. Oops. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Conserve ammo, and the first thing yeah, I did. Yeah, you, know, you don't get, yeah. I can see why people think this is uh, appropriate for for the screen. It's like... And cinematic. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it would be great. It's just, it's a hard story to tell because it's just, it's really weird. It does seem like it's better suited for the TV format. Definitely. Yeah, this would make a good TV show. Maybe, I hope, I hope they'll develop it. Get your, get your lightning up. Hit oh, the water. Hit, the, hit water? the water? Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm so excited. Just have to do once. There you go, watch it. Huh. See, it is roast. <laughs> you know, I've never really experienced too much gaming where there is so much story. Even when I played Warcraft, mm -hmm. I would play the, the multiplayer, not the story-driven part. Right. Mm -hmm. This guy will be on your side now. He's like a, a mobile sentry. Whoa. So he's got a machine gun and everything. That's freaking cool. Yeah. I like, you know, little mechanical robots that are like little buddies. Look to your right. Oh, it wants me to go this way yeah. now. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, I like, I like this. I like this. Give me more. Oh! Oh, I really like the machine gun. We only have seven rounds left, so I need to switch guns here in a minute. Why are you guys on fire? Oh. There, there you go. It takes so long to reload. Shotgun slow, but it gets a lot of them. Ah. Ah. Not there me. you go. You got it. Oh. You the first level. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's basically wow. the first level. Yeah. All right. Good job. All right, so I just finished up my intro to Bioshock. Mm -hmm. my, my brief little review from playing the limited amount that I did, it's, it's really damn cool. The yeah. atmosphere is just so immersive. Naturally, I really gravitated towards the creepy distorted creatures and the brutal ways you can kill everyone and everything in this game. I will admit though, as someone who doesn't game very much, it was very helpful to have you here to tell me like, You're do that and pick up that. You're doing a good job, I've never played the game before. Let's say down the line, I wanted to play a little more Bioshock and I wanted you to show me, what is it called, Infinite is the, yeah, is the other one? Yeah, Bioshock Infinite is the third game in the series. I, mean, I wouldn't say, if you want to play all of them, I mean, two, it's not, it's probably the weakest of the series, but it's still okay. a good game. But Bioshock Infinite is the best. Okay. I love this game, it's so different. And it takes place in the clouds as opposed to underwater. David, thank you so much for doing this with me today. This is so fun for a change. Oh my God, absolutely. I definitely want to do this a little more. Tell everyone where you are all over the internet. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at GriffinDE. Don't forget Collider TV Talk. And another very special Patreon shout out to Evan Lee who made this video happen, who inspired me to try something new. Thank you so much. If you want to join in on all the Patreon fun, you know what to do. The link is in the description section. As always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon.